Hello, Kerbaliers! It's time for the PFC7 rules announcement. This time, we are in Mark III parts, which means you must have a Mark III cockpit. Here are the rules. I will have these rules printed in the description, and I also have them posted on Discord. The links for all of that, and the mod links, will be in the description. The only required mod is BDA. The other three are there so you can use them and use the extra parts. Okay, let's start with mandatory parts. You must have one of these four cockpits. Uh, the stock squad cockpit, the airplane plus cargo cockpit, which is hollow, except for the actual cockpit. So you can stash everything right inside there. Or you have the Mark III Expansion Pack cockpit, streamlined and central cockpit. You must have one of the three radomes. You must have an RTG. The reason for the RTG is sometimes the planes sit for a while and things get fast forwarded. I want to make sure I can start the planes back up when I go back to them. You must have a at least one flare dispenser and one chaff, no more than four. You have your weapons manager, which have all your adjustments, and you have your AI flight computer. Uh, I'm going to say for this competition, uh, maximum is 4,000. You can do anything less or up to 4,000. Minimum altitude, I'm going to recommend 500 because we're going to be in hilly terrain. For the engines, with the addition of the Mark III expansion, we have more engines that you can play with. We have the turbo ramjet, have the atomic thermal jet, the basic turbofan, and then the gimbaled tur turbofan. Uh, of course you have all the stock and airplanes plus models that you're allowed to use. And you can also use airplanes plus propeller engines and fire spitter propeller engines if you so choose. For the weapons, Have the harm missile make sure it is set for air combat everything else should be off you have your amrams and your sidewinders for guns you have the typical selection plus um, for turrets, you can have full range of motion on your turrets. They are not restricted. You may have three of these three turrets. Any one of these three. Don't mix weapons. It doesn't work well with the AI. But you choose one of the turrets. And you can put three of them on your craft. I recommend setting the barrage to false. That way all guns fire at once. You are allowed one goalkeeper, but it has to be one of these two. The other one's just too big and I think it'll cause too much problem aerodynamically. But you can have one of each of these and they can also have full range of motion. Okay? Beyond that, you can use any other parts except for fire spitter wings and fuselages. But you're supposed to be in Mark III anyway, so... All right, good luck with that. All right, we're gonna give you two weeks to get building on these. Send them to my email address, which is graydragon70 at gmail.com. That'll also be in the description with the full rule sets and links to all the mods. 
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, Kerbaliers.